Emerging technologies are technologies whose development, practical applications, or both are still largely unrealized, such that they are figuratively emerging into prominence from a background of non-existence or obscurity. These technologies are new, such as various applications of biotechnology including gene therapy. Emerging technologies are often perceived as capable of changing the status. From time immemorial, technology has evolved in a variety of fields, using technology to facilitate human work, while high-tech robots are now being developed to perform human tasks, although in the beginning they were made in the form of small technological tools, but today man-made artificial intelligence has been used. Very similar to the action zone. Bots are automated or semi-automated tools that perform repetitive and mundane tasks. Bots can edit very quickly and can be very destructive if they are designed incorrectly or functional. For these reasons a bot policy has been formulated. Robotics is an interdisciplinary field that integrates computer science and engineering. Robotics involves design, construction, operation, and use of robots. The goal of robotics is to design machines that can help and assist humans. Robotics develops machines that can substitute for humans and replicate human actions. Bots can be used in many situations and for many purposes. But today many are used in dangerous environments manufacturing processes, or where humans cannot survive. Robots can take on any form but some are made to resemble humans in appearance. This is said to help in the acceptance of a robot in certain replicative behaviors usually performed by people. Such robots attempt to replicate walking, lifting, speech, cognition, or any other human activity. Many of today's robots are inspired by nature, contributing to the field of bio-inspired robotics. Today, Robotics is a rapidly growing field, as technological advances continue. The concept of creating robots that can operate autonomously dates back to classical times, but research into the functionality and potential uses of robots did not grow substantially until the 20th century. With the increase in population and the limited space available on Earth, human life is becoming increasingly difficult. With modern technology, people seeking solutions are finding a variety of alternatives, among which the use of underwater housing for living may occur in the future, not just inland. The surface of the moon is also believed to have the ability to build life. Underwater habitats are underwater structures in which people can live for extended periods and carry out most of the basic human functions of a 24-hour day. In this context, Habitat is generally used in a narrow sense to mean the interior and immediate exterior of the structure and its fixtures, but not its surrounding marine environment. However, recently some new underwater habitats allow for these resources to be delivered using pipes, or generated within the habitat, rather than manually delivered. An underwater habitat has to meet the needs of human physiology and provide suitable environmental conditions, and the one which is most critical is breathing air of suitable quality. Others concern the physical environment. The chem. While other suitable places for man to live have to be found due to the limited space available on the earth and the increase in population, the solution to this is to create a suitable environment to live on the moon in the future. Has colonization of the moon is a concept employed by some proposals of establishing permanent human settlement or robotic presence on the moon. NASA will build on the momentum of the human return mission in four years and plans to send crew to the moon about once per year thereafter. To give astronauts a place to live and work on the moon, the agency's Artemis Base Camp concept includes a modern lunar cabin, a rover and even a mobile home. Although living on the moon is a kind of nonsense, as the population grows in the future, a solution must be found to limit space, creating an environment conducive to life on the moon. Holography is the science and practice of making holograms. A hologram is a real-world recording of an interference pattern which uses diffraction to reproduce a 3D light field, resulting in an image which still has the depth, parallax, and other properties of the original scene. A hologram is a photographic recording of a light field, rather than an image formed by a lens. The holographic medium, for example the object produced by a holographic process is usually unintelligible when viewed under diffuse ambient light. It is an encoding of the light field as an interference pattern of variations in the opacity, density, or surface profile of the photographic medium. When suitably lit, the interference pattern diffracts the light into an accurate reproduction of the original light field, and the objects that were in it exhibit visual depth cues such as parallax and perspective that change realistically with the different angles of viewing. That is, the view of the image from different angles represents the subject viewed from similar angles. In this sense, holograms do not have just the illusion of depth but are truly three-dimensional images. In its pure form, holography needs a laser light for illuminating the subject and for viewing the finished hologram. 
a microscopic level of detail throughout the recorded scene can be reproduced. Just as holograms can be created realistically, holograms can be used for educational purposes, making it easier for children to explain things, which in turn enhances children's interest in learning, facilitates work with holograms, and entertains them can be done. This can be considered as a useful use of technology. It produces a group of intelligent citizens and children become accustomed to self, study. Even difficult subjects can be taught easily and children can use technology effectively. Such subjects like science can be used for holograms as well. It is also useful for educational purposes. Considering the pace of technological advancement, the technology that existed 100 years ago is very different from the technology that is rich. It is believed that the technology of the future will be very different, although the education system will be completely different. In simple terms, a hologram technology is a three-dimensional projection which can be seen without using any special equipment such as cameras or glasses. The image can be viewed from any angle, so as the user walks around the display the object will appear to move and shift realistically. Holographic images can be static, such as a picture of a product or they may be animated sequences which can be watched by multiple people from any viewpoint. The technology used to capture and project holograms has advanced rapidly in recent years. These latest techniques allow increasingly convincing and interactive models to be displayed and are expected to become even more widespread in the future. Now that we've got a better idea of how holograms technology work, we've talked about the future of the Earth. We hope you have learned and can imagine about the future. Our mission is to improve your scientific knowledge, we need to find more technological things to get a perfect future, as important. We must use technology as a force for good, otherwise technology can be a nightmare. It will also help you succeed in life. Have a nice day.